Hello, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> I hope that I look okay because <laughs> the reason I was late is I spent an ungodly amount of time trying to get this thing to work. And <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure if it's going to. We can hope. There's no guarantee. So if I look a little bit weird today, I apologize. We're, in <laughs> we're in four by three today because, you know, back rooms, the 90s, widescreen wasn't very much a thing back then. Konnichiwa, Aiku. Konnichiwa. Hello. Good evening. So it's, it's, it's going to be a little bit different than per usual. 4x3 immersion? Yeah, 4x3 immersion. Or at least I tried. Lord knows I tried. So if uh, it looks like crap, then I'm sorry. It'll hopefully look better in the future if I decide to do this again. Okay, without further ado, this is the complex. We were back in the back rooms again. As, as, like People couldn't get enough of that. But there's the reason I wanted to try this thing out. Because you guys might have heard that uh, me and Fulger... Whenever we talk about the back rooms, we constantly sort of, we do a little pissing and moaning about how it makes it a lot less scary when people try to over explain it and like add all these lore things, these levels, all these quote unquote entities that chase you and whatever and just, it sort of takes a lot of the dread out of the whole liminal space horror thing. But I was told that this is a little bit different. This is not Ooga Booga, Bloogie Woogie in the dark running after you and screaming. This is a lot more dread. And a lot more about what the backrooms is supposed to be like, in my opinion. So if that turns out to be true, then consider, consider me hooked. Alright, so, what do you guys say? Let's dive right in. So, it, ju ju just as a heads up, if you're here today to see your boy get jump scared, I don't think that's gonna happen unless somebody lied to me. So this is just gonna be a lot of quiet, a lot of immersion stuff, so dim the lights. Like, set the, set the mood. Get something, like, wrap yourself in a blanket, get some, get some snacks. Oh, Cindy, thank you for the five gifted. And, uh, let's get immersed, shall we? Now, the thing is, one of my monitors isn't working, so I can't really see if ya boy's fancy little setup thing is working. Oh, oh, oh god. Hopefully that is the case. The complex. Now, if you guys could tell me if everything looks okay, that would be great. Because, oh god, I, I fought so hard to get this to look decent. Alright, here we go. You became yellow. Hmm. It's almost like it's adaptive. That's what I spent so long trying to get right. Because <laughs> I, I got this idea last minute and I was like, no. No, I I must. I must make this look okay. Immersive lighting, yeah, exactly. And also the the graphics for this game. Sheesh! Look at that. So I'm having my mic really close to my face today. Sounds too. Like... Hear how quiet it is? See, this is something that would freak me out. I 
I swear there's gonna be a lot of times where I'm just like, did you guys hear that? Where I swear I heard something. It turns out that I didn't. I don't know what sounds are coming from me, the player character. And what might be something else? Is this similar to back rooms? I mean, this is the back rooms. All right, we're getting somewhere. Looks a bit different. The silence, I don't like it, me either. See, this is what's scary about it. Directory. Yeah, I guess this is the only way we can go. I swear I just heard something. Ah! Yes! Eat this! The floor here makes me think of Finnish cruise ships for some reason. I'm like flinching at every turn. I hate this. <laughs> oh. Finland mentioned hi. <laughs> Moi mita kuulu. I love that meme, by the way. Whenever people just go blank mentioned and they they get like get super super hype. I mean make exactly the same whenever I'm just like Sweden mentioned the fact that it just starts out as usual corridors and then like warps into this weird thing that shouldn't exist Is it weird that I found it peaceful? Not at all. There are some people that find comfort in liminal spaces. So you're not weird. Don't you worry about it. I got jump scared by your voice. Boo. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's, it goes down. I didn't notice that. Can I open these? The answer is no. All right. I'm just going to head over here. Break down the door. <laughs> Are we tilted? I think we might be. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't tell. Dude, the sounds. <laughs> I hate this. It's just like a like a bathroom. All right, and press those. Gallery.
it's a statue. <sighs> God, I held my breath for nothing. Alright. Now as long as you don't move anywhere, I'll be happy. Oh, hey, it's this place. The one in... I think this is from Heathrow Airport. Hello? I swear I'm hearing things. No, I'm absolutely hearing something. One in the Niji airplane. <laughs> Intrusive thoughts. Did <laughs> please do not jump into the abyss. Oh, Mimi dies over. Yeah, my my ears are fine. Thank you. Elevator? Oh, it doesn't work, does it? Oh, no, never mind. Yes, it does. Alright, progress, I think. <gasps> Let's go! Pool rooms, my favorite! I haven't been to an indoor pool in God knows how long. Thank you for the super chat. I can't really see it unfortunately right now because the game is so large on my screen. <laughs> I'll... I'll look at that in in however long it takes us to get out of here or to perish. That is very bright. Hmm. I can smell the chlorine the same. This place isn't killing my frame rate as much. You guys hear that deep pulsating noise? Hmm. I don't like that. Oh, that's bright. Oh, God, that's bright. Mm. 
I can't run in the water. That's unfortunate. One does wonder where the light actually comes from. Like, in the back rooms, sure, like, there's the light, the fluorescent light. Here, though? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it's getting louder. God, that's bright. Lovely. I accidentally did the dolly zoom there. <laughs> Vertigo effect. God, the water scared the ever-living crap out of me. It got so quiet for a second. Where's this supposed to be? It's like heavy concrete meets... This tile thing, whatever the heck you call it. I don't think there's anywhere out of here. This is just a dead end. I'm fully expecting something to look back at me at the end. Of all the all the other backrooms games have sort of conditioned me into like expecting that. Out of morbid curiosity, like, how many of you find it this, this sort of, like, place comforting? And how many of you are creeped out? <laughs> okay, is there some comfort? Some creeped out? 50-50? Comforting? Hell no. Okay. <laughs> Creepy. Mildly comforting. Somewhere in between. Okay. It's a little bit split. Personally, I find it uncomfortable. Okay, we're going back into the flashbang area that's needlessly freaking bright. Ah. Uh... <laughs> It's so bright. No bicycles in the pool. <laughs> what is this, Norway? Why? 
What? It's a nice view. I mean, I guess. was about to walk into a wall. That looks different. <sighs> I keep forgetting to breathe. Oh, elevator. Let's go. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> I don't like this anymore. Oh, I don't like this anymore. I actually, genuinely, wholeheartedly do not like this anymore. No jump scares. I, well, I was lied to. Close already. Close, 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 close. Ugh, I hated that. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. That's fine. That's fine. So, those of you who said this was oddly comforting, is that still the case? I'm just curious. Oh, I don't like that noise. I really don't like that noise. I actually really don't like that noise. Actually, like, I'm... Feel free to call me a coward. Or any letter for... Or any word that... You would describe somebody who doesn't have a lot of bravery that starts with the letter P. But I think that this might be one of the most, like, uncomfortable moments I've ever had on stream. Like, this, this is, this is up there with Madison. The hell is that noise? Is it getting closer? Oh, it's getting closer. It sounds like it's getting closer. It's absolutely getting closer. It stopped. Why did it stop? can't run in the game? Oh, you can. <laughs> that was funny. This feels somewhat open. I feel kind of okay with this. Your whistle jump scared me. So sorry. I just heard something. That's an elevator. Ah! No more of elevator surprises, please, and thank you. What the hell is this? <laughs> 
Simon. Are you around here? Now, I know that I could go towards that. But should I? The answer may surprise you. Nah! Nah! I heard that! Nope! No. No. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run for it. I'm just gonna run. I'm not even going to turn around. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. The hell? What's up, Manesan? Thanks for scaring me. There's nothing here. What's the point of this? There's nothing here. Is this all a dead end? Do I have to go back? And deal with that other thing? Oh wait, there's more houses. in the rest of these then. Men, 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 men. Women, women, women. I thought I heard something. Oh, elevator! Yay! Awesome! Um, please? Okay, cool. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Unfortunately, I can't stay for longer. It, no, it's okay, Sosatiki Vanka. Don't worry about it. Thanks for stopping by. 
done well it's a free game there is there is a paid version <sighs> but I kind of want to go again oh credit what credits is due Kane pixels Okay, but there were places we didn't go. So I kind of want to go check that out. Because that there was that one place. How many entities do they have? Well, we didn't see anything. Kind of. We saw a shadow at one point. And I personally hate the idea of the entities. I thought it was uncomfortable enough. But then they decided to make me question myself. Alright, let's try and find our way back. What the heck is this? See, already, we didn't see that last time. Looks like the room that they filmed that PlayStation 3 baby commercial in. Very dark. That's new. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Do not like that. Hurts my eyes. It's a little bit of an eye strain. It's a very long hallway and I don't like that. I really don't like this. I wholeheartedly do not like this. Like, you look so yellow. Well, it's because... Ooh! It's because there's a lot of yellow lining. Swimming pool. Okay, this is different. Yeah, we weren't here before.
light is somewhat unreliable. That's a different elevator than last time. Okay. I wonder, does this take us anywhere different? It does not. Okay, but... That's cool to know that there are multiple exits. Let's go this way this time. Oh, it's just here. <sighs> My claustrophobia could never. I'm kind of there with you. Anywhere that I can't, like, move my... My arms and legs a whole lot, that they don't have a lot of wiggle room, I hate. I despise it. What is that noise? That wasn't there last time. That m monolith over there? I swear that wasn't there last time. Is that what's making that sound? Was? You zoomed in on it? Well, then why did I not notice it? <laughs> Sorry. Another one. <laughs> Sorry. Bless me, bless me. Okay. <sighs> uh, hey. This part, I remember being relatively fine. That sound wasn't here last time, though. It's very uncomfortable. Hi. <sighs> okay. Let's see if we can take a different path this time. Didn't go this way. This is this might be different. Uh. 
And it's a dead end. Alright. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. No, it's a dead end. Okay. Uh. Check the chair hallway again. Do I have to? I didn't like that place. I really didn't. Are you gonna be at the end there? Yeah, there you are. I'm gonna go this way instead. Shortcut, baby! Aoi-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, he's gonna knock. See, that's... Oh, that's such a good scare. It's such a good scare. Ah. Uh, can you go out? I'm not about to find out. Alright, I'm a little bit less freaked out this time. There's also that breathing noise. And that breathing noise... ...is also what we heard in the previous area when that thing showed up. So I don't know how safe we really are. Maybe it just wants a hug. <laughs> Maybe. There's a possibility. It didn't go here last time. What the heck? Alright, so this is a dead end. I should go this way. Nope. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. Oh, it's getting a lot louder. Okay. It stopped. Let's go this way this time. At least I don't think we went this way the last time. It stopped, yeah. Now that can either mean one or two things, that we are safe, or the, that we are anything but. Oh! Oh, oh! We are not safe. We are not safe. We are not safe. Ho Holy hell, we are not safe. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm not Oh, I did not see that last time. Ooh. 
That was okay. Just so I'm not gaslighting myself, I wasn't the only one that saw that, right? I, w I oh my god, my goosebumps! My entire arm is like dotted. That was awful. I hated that. Okay, we know what happens here. Wait for it. There it is. Now, do we want to be brave this time? Woo! Neighborhood moment! Listen to this crap. That's actually a nice surprise. Let's go. See you over there? Why couldn't you have a nice surprise in your house? Like this guy. What's your problem? Arguably, I think this place would have been scarier without the red light. That's just my two cents. Did I just see something? I thought I did. Might have, okay, might have been my imagination though. I think that might have been my ad imagination. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're back here. So we know that there's an exit in the blue house, but check, let's check the yellow house once first.
diverted or diverted moda infinitil eighteen. Okay. Oh, that's it. Just nothing more to that. Hmm. Oh well. Okay then. Hey, I generated text. Oh, I unplugged my headphones like a dummy. You guys ready to clip back into reality? Can't believe it's been a year. Congraggy on the the purple nib. Do a flip, you got it. Wow! Ow. The distortion, what's up, Seth? to this that I don't know of I'm not entirely sure but that's for somebody else to find this game is free so if you want to explore the back rooms yourselves by all means go right ahead one cost you a dime it is entirely free on Steam The credits aren't fully faded out. You can still see some of the names there. You can see, see, I can still see some of the patrons. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> All right. I think that's, I think that's everything. I know that there's a paid version that probably has more content. So yeah, I might check that out at a later date. But for now, we're... I think we're pretty much done here. So, let's go back... ...to some place that we know a little bit better. Hi, hello. <laughs> I I haven't seen what my actual stream layout looked like. We're, oh, but by the way, we're back in widescreen now. Let's go. <laughs> 16 by 9, let's go. <laughs> so, I'm kind of curious how everything looked. How the, like, dynamic lighting worked out. The back rooms, Ike's room. <laughs> See, the the state, the absolute state of my own room w might be worse than anything the back rooms could ever offer. Home sweet home. I know, look at this. Back in your boy's room that looks a lot more comfortable than whatever the heck we just went through. It was pretty short. Then again, I wasn't expecting it to be very lengthy, considering that it is free. Not every single game can be Cry of Fear. But for what it was, it was it was pretty cool. How comfortable. Very comfy. Good times. How are you, boy? I'm so late. No problem. I'm pretty good. Game, game gave me a pretty good scare. It was... It was from from the few glimpses that I saw, I was very much much not. I was not Daijo K. Okay. Bro pooped he pants. <laughs> you can say that. It was close. Lapis Dragon, thank you for the twenty gifted. That's so nice of you. Looks like it's been six months. Woo! Congraggy on the six months.
We're home, <laughs> Pepad. Thank you very much. Okay, now I can finally read the super chats I didn't see. Uh, Kanata, thank you very much. Octodiz, thank you very much. Even in the dark, I can still see you because you shine like a diamond. Thank you. Hey, Kanina, thank you very much. A Swedish uni I used to stu study in looked like this at night. Dim lights, white walls, dark corridor with multiple doors. Total nightmare fuel. Ooh, yeah. I've been there. I've been there. I've been in many Swedish hallways that just have that... Okay, if you're Swedish, you'll know exactly what, what I mean. You know those types of floors that are, like, very, very shiny and have this sort of, like, beige-orange kind of tint to them? And they have, like, a little bit of a swirly pattern if you get really up close. Like, they had those and then, like, these sort of white, but, like, because they're really old and... And stuff like the sort of there's this like sort of yellow tint to the white paint on the wall, and it just like stretches for like a lot, a lot of meters. I'm not Swedish, but yes, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll try to find some examples. It sounds like my high school. It was in a lot of schools. My doctor's office. <laughs> Nods in non-Swedish. Okay, okay, okay. I know that not all of you are Swedish, okay? <laughs> Sorry. In Germany, every single guest toilet in the basement or something in some places are scary as <laughs> Maybe Maybe the German toilets should be on the Twitter account known as Scary Toilet. Toilets with threatening auras. Liminal toilets. Who cares about liminal space? What about liminal toilets? Do you ever? Do I ever what? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. German basement toilets are so scary. Don't judge us, German. I'm not judging you. I'm just wondering what is it about German toilets that are so scary? Like, what makes German toilets scary? Uh, like, like, they yell at you? Do German toilets yell at you? They're so loud. What? What do they yell at you? Do they just go, Ich bin gefühl mit Pisswasser? Do they just scream that at you? <laughs> Did you look up this word? No, I, I <laughs> no, I know it by heart. <laughs> What does that mean? Don't worry about it. <laughs> German Ike? <laughs> I think that I actually did get recommended like a compilation of me speaking German the other day. It which it was there was a longer compilation than I expected. <laughs> it was like four minutes long, and it's just it's just a word here or there or a phrase. Like from, like, a little bit from place to place. But I'm just like, huh, I spoke enough German for, for there to be a compilation? Okay. Hey, somebody translated what I just said. I love this comp <laughs> compilation as a German. <laughs> Let's go. Germanic languages rise up. All right, let's move on from the toilet talk. Let's see. Kinyako san, arigato gozaimas. Dare mo inai bijutsu kan mitai. Dane. So desu ne. 
や、誰もいないの美術館は、結構、怖いな場所と思います。まあ、個人的には。Let's see. Kariel, thank you very much. Pepperaiki, you got this. We're here with you. Thank you. God, what, I do, what would I do without my children? <laughs> Let's see. So, so thank you, Vaka. Now I can finally read the whole super chat. Unfortunately, I can't stay for longer, but good luck with the game. I'll send you my bravery. Thank you. Hugely appreciated. Uh, Kamen, thank you very much. Have you played the new game that the creator made? I have not. I have not. This is the only game that I've ever played from them. Let's see, Chick, thank you very much. Hi, Ike. Yesterday I drew the thumbnail for the complex, but I made a mistake. I drew it as another game. I'm sorry for the mistake. That's no problem. Don't worry about it. First of all, thank you so much for drawing a thumbnail in the first place. That means so, so much to me, and I'm hugely, hugely grateful and appreciated for, uh, appreciative for it. And if you made a mistake, that's 100% okay. Don't worry about it. It's not like some, like some creature from the back rooms is gonna come hunt you down just because you made a mistake in a thumbnail. So don't worry about it. Still, thank you very much for draw, uh, drawing and uh, I'm gonna check the, the graphic tag to see if I can find it and leave a little bit of a like. You know, as a little bit of a token of appreciation. I know it's not much, but I do want to know like, like, hey, I saw it. Uh, Fika-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Aiku-kun, itsumo tanushi haishin wa arigatou. Yeah, Aiku-kun no okage de. 毎日がとっても楽しいです。ええー、そうなの嬉しい。えー、ところで、私は、えっと、うん、うん、it's days in Japanese again. I'm so ba bad. 20日か、<笑> 20日かな<笑>が誕生日でした。えー、えー、もう、えー、だいぶ過ぎるでしまったのですが、もしよかったら誕生日を祝ってくれませんかこれからも応援してます。ありがとうございます。20日。20日。なるほど。あ、あ、あコメント聞いてしまいました。20日でも合ってる。20日とも言います。ああ、なるほど。ありがとうございます。夏頃さん。えーそして、えー、フィーカさんの誕生日おめでとうございます。イェイ、ハッピーバースデー、ホピアバーワンダフルタイム。いや、I, I really gotta sit down and learn how to count in Japanese。ハツカが誕生日でしたか。I really gotta sit down and properly just be like, okay, Ike, days and numbers, you gotta, you gotta learn them. You gotta learn today, boy. <laughs> Your voice goes up every time you speak JP. It's so cute. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> When I speak Swedish, my voice is at its lowest. Then English is sort of in, right in the middle. And then Japanese is the highest. There's actually one of my oldest clips. One of my oldest clips that actually has quite a bit of views. I think it has like 700,000 views or something like that. It's just like somebody comparing the different pitches that I speak in depending on the language. JP number is hard. Yeah. Let's see. Moving on. What do we got? Uh, let's see. Cringe Fail Mars. Thank you very much. Chick, thank you very much again. You, oh, oh my god. You sent the super uh, chat twice. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. But like, <laughs> I, I did see it. Trust me. I did see it. Let's see. Haruka, thank you very much. Kyo mo otsukare sama. Eto, hai shin. うん、感謝感謝ありがとうございます。聞いてくれて本当にありがとう。嬉しい。えー、シン、Thank you very much. Love the lighting from you. It's so cool and fits well for the vibe of the game. Thank you. I hope it looked okay. I, I spent so much time trying to get it right. I've been fiddling, I was fiddling with it like 30 minutes before stream. And then as I like kept getting closer to like when I was supposed to start stream, I started panicking and, be, and was like, oh no, I'm running out of time. What do I do? So, as a result, yeah, boy, was like 20, 20 minutes late. Is it After Effects? No. <laughs> After Effects is not real time. It, it, was, it was something else. It was a lot of fiddling with OBS. It's, it's not perfect, but I, I, I hope that it worked okay. 
slightly curious how you did it. It's a bunch of OBS plugins. It's like, um, I know I said it wasn't like After Effects, but After Effects is used for something called compositing. And compositing is just sort of a term that's commonly used in VFX or like movies or like t television or anything in animation too. And it's, it, it's a term that uh, originates from when movies and film was worked on physically. Like, when, you know, before digital stuff was anything, because it, it's basically the process of taking multiple pieces of film and photographing them together to, like, make a final image. And that process has a lot of different things in order to blend stuff, such as, uh, like... I don't know, color correction, diffusion, and all that stuff. And usually you do that in editing software like After Effects. But you can do it in real time if you if you tinker around a little bit with it. For example, if you guys remember... What, what's a good example of uh, when I did it in OBS? Uh, if you remember when I did the, the Dragon Guard explanation stream... You no notice that I changed uh, my color. That that was done with uh, so with color correction, and that's a that's a type of compositing. I could technically do it right now if I if I were to tinker with some stuff. Oh yeah, sometimes you know when uh, we livers have that fancy that fancy filter that makes us look all all glowy and uh, and all that good jazz, and it sort of changes our color a little bit. And it makes the camera move a little bit. That's also compositing in real time. But yeah, you aren't using it today, I just realized. Yeah, I'm not. Not today. I could switch to it, but I would have to open some programs first. Like your karaoke? Exactly, like the karaoke. I always wonder how do you do it. It's a separate program. So these are just plugins? Yeah, more or less. So like if I were to like go to filters and uh, let's add, uh, I don't know, that uh, color correction maybe. Here we go. Then I can like change my brightness, for example. We. There's that. I can make myself, like, a, sil a silhouette. What's up? <laughs> Th this actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. But yeah, j just a bunch of tricks like that in order to make things look a certain way. If you've seen any of uh, the Niji... Photoshops that I've done whenever people are have like new outfits or something and they do a green screen. That's also technically compositing. Persona Posaru. Is it? I, I mean, I guess so. Who is this new S Smash character? Hmm. Ugh. Can you be transparent? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Let me see if I can do that. Let's see, filters. Uh, add that. Uh, there we go. There's a little bit of transparency for you. I can do, I can do the critical thing. One second. What? <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that. Let me delete. Okay. I can give us a sign. Are you here? I am here! Ooh! 
notice me? <laughs> Ever listen to ghosts such as Spooky Band? Of course I have! Of course I listen to Ghost. Any self-respecting metal Swede will, will have listened to Ghost at some point. Uh, let's see. Oh, I, I missed a couple of Super Chat. Hold on. Let's see. Eh, Hapapa-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Hi, Aiki. I'm happy to be able to come to Ike's stream on my birthday, although the timing hasn't been right lately. Korekaru mo oonshitemasu. Otsu Aiki. Arigatou gozaimasu. Soshite o tanjoubi. Omedetou gozaimasu, Hapapa-san. Thank you for coming. It makes me very happy. Eh, Jemina. Thank you very much. Aiki, when are you gonna post Dave the Diver? Eh, love you, by the way. Get enough rest. Eh, you slay Yar Yast. <laughs> <laughs> Those last couple of words just kind of made me go, but uh, I don't know when we will be continuing, Dave. I do want to do that at some point because it's a very comfy game. See, Fika-san, thank you very much. Oiwai, arigatou gozaimasu. Nandake. Hatsuka. Hatsuka mo ganbatte yonde kurete arigatou gozaimasu. Ya, kochira koso arigatou gozaimasu, pachato. Wildcard, thank you very much once again. I'm curious when you'll continue Danganronpa. Uh, I will continue Danganronpa uh, for sure. It's just that as of late, I haven't uh, like been able to fit it onto my schedule. There's also like a, uh, a few other circumstances that makes it a little bit difficult for me to play it at the moment. But as, as soon as I'm able to jump right back into it, I'm just going to be like... Up, 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 up. <laughs> and run right back to it. Because I, I do I do miss the gang. I do want to know what the, happens in the story. I even miss Monokuma a little bit. I just don't miss voicing him. <laughs> I, I really don't miss missing. Uh, I do really don't miss voicing him. <laughs> Is there any way to send physical paintings or fan art to you? Paintings might be a little bit difficult, but you can send uh, fan mail. Fan mail you can send. And there are several people that have sent like um, uh, their draw uh, their drawings, like little postcards. Some people just draw straight on paper and send that. Other people like print their digital illustrations as sort of postcards and send those as fan mail. So yes, you can do that. Your throat is resting before you get back to Danganronpa. <laughs> I it, it it my my throat has been very thankful for not having to voice Monokuma. Thanks, Ike, and also thanks everyone in chat. Yay, let's go, Hapapa-san. Where do you put all the fan mails? I have a drawer that's full of them. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> like, at this point, easily over, like, like, it's, it's, it's in the hundreds at this point. Did you read all of them? Yes. Every single one. Do you read them from time to time? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit down and uh, I just kind of peruse through them and just pick out a random... Thousands? No! Jesus Christ! But it, it's over a hundred at this point, for sure. Ever listened to Ghost, the Vocaloid producer? Not particularly, no. Oh no, I think, oh, I don't, I don't know how to read this. Is this Viet? Let's see, hi Ike, you made my day become better. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm sorry that I don't know how to read, read that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dumb Swedish boy. Have you heard of Polyphia? It's a rock band that mainly focuses on guitar. Just a random question. Of course I've heard about Polyphia. <laughs> I'm a guitarist. That means that I'm obligated to listen to Polyphia and uh, question if I should put down the instrument entirely. <laughs> You sound so happy talking about fan mail. It makes me happy because it makes me happy. I love the fan mail. Fan mail is like one of the best things about this. Because it's like, you know, audience interaction in a way. And I love that. I'm all about that. How often does fan mail get to you? Whenever staff sends me a package, whether that be like some merch that we have been a part of. Because we do get like... Uh, we do get like... Uh, our own copies of any sort of merch or collab we're a part of. 
And whenever they send us that, they usually include all the latest fan fan letters too. It doesn't happen very often. Like it's it's been quite a few months since the last time I got my fan letters. So you have the cinnamon roll, Ike? Not yet. It usually takes a while. I hope my letters arrived safely. I'm sure that they have. I remember um, the f f second time I was uh, I received fan letters and was um, going through all of them. Uh, I, f I kept finding fan letters from the same uh, from a lot of the same people because they kept sending one like each and every month, telling me about like what they've been doing, congratulating me on anything that's happened, and like cat like just giving uh, giving a little bit of an update on what they're what they're doing, what's going on in their life. Just sharing good, uh, like, uh, good experiences, memories, and all of that. So even if I don't get all of them, like, right away, just seeing that, like, oh, they kept sending throughout the months. That's so sweet. It, it really warms my heart. Because you can sort of follow a story from each person by doing that. There's also some fun ones. I still think about the marriage certificate one. That, that one sticks with me a lot. <laughs> because I wasn't expecting it. Like actual pen pals. Yeah. I originally thought about like calling you guys pen pals. But as it turns out, there was another VTuber fandom that already had that. So I didn't want to step on any toes. Someone sent a marriage certificate? Yes. Not just any mar marriage certificate. It was a Detective Conan themed one, which based. I, I gotta respect that. I just have to respect that. Ike, any celebrations for Luxium two years? Shrugs. <laughs> Shrugs. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Did you sign it? <laughs> no, I don't want to put my own pen onto any of the letters. I want to preserve them exactly the way that they came. You mentioned liking periphery ones. Do you have any favorite songs? Uh, Jetpacks was Yes is up there. Uh, Icarus Lives. I really like P1. Um, Make Total Destroy. Uh, Absalom, Blood Eagle, Satellites. Those are the ones off of my, off the top of my. Oh yeah, and Race Car. Race Car is also good. Do you like Corn? I do like Corn, but I don't listen to them as much as I used to. Alina, thank you very much. Speaking of merch, when the Sanrio collab came out, I was really just thinking, wow, he really is becoming Niku now. <laughs> Cinnamon Roll Ike is so cute. Thank you very much. Yes! That that was like the moment we got the message and just like, okay, so you're, here's the news. You're having a collab with Sanrio. Here are the ones that here's the characters that you've been assigned. And when I saw that I got assigned Cinnamon Roll, I was like, yes! Because number one, I love Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll is adorable. I love the guy so, so much. And second of all, I have something in common with Miku! <laughs> so there's been a little bit of art with uh, me, Miku, and Cinnamon Roll, and you know I'm all about that. You know I'm all about that Delulu <laughs> of me getting to meet Miku. I hope I get to meet Miku one day, because I'm in the right place. I'm in the right place so that I can have that checked off my bucket list. I don't think like I don't think it's very likely to happen, but if I have a shot at having it happen in any official capacity, then I'm in the right place. Who knows? It was a Niji Liver that got to meet their sa favorite Sanrio character as a collab officially. So who's to say that I can't meet Miku? Shoot for sh shoot for the sky, right? Shoot for the moon and you'll land amongst the stars. Well, whatever the heck I said that one time. You're already 2D, I can't. Yeah, exactly. I'm in the right place. Gina, thank you very much. Hello, I I passed the final exam and I got a great score. Let's freaking go! So glad that I did it. And thank you for streaming today. Thank you very much. And congraggy. 
That's what I like to see. What's your favorite Miku figure uh, in your collection? Um, Miku Expo 2020. That's my favorite. I just love all the flowy ribbons and the red jacket. Really like that. I am getting a few new Miku figures in January, I believe. If the shipping doesn't get delayed, because Lord knows figures get delayed a lot. It was a specific a figure of a person that I that I uh, have been following for a long time that I respect a lot and that I look up to a lot that got delayed for over a year. So that was a little bit rough. <laughs> Did you receive the Miku guitar? No, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> A year? Yeah, a year. You have figures of the Kagamina twins? I have one of Dean. I have two of Dean, actually. Finding Len figures is very hard. I'm waiting for a rerun of that one of that one Len figure. I have the Rin version, but I want the Len one too. Jimmy now, thank you very much. Ike, do you play Project Sekai? No! Yeah. I don't really play mobile games. Let's see. Dan, thank you very much. Thanks to you, I was able to bond with my brother a little bit more because Spirit Box came on shuffle when we were in my car. Let's go. First of all, Spirit Box based. Turns out he loves them. He sent me some song wrecks and I've been enjoying them. Yeah, let's go. Bonding. <laughs> Duka, my Osi. Yeah, Megudini Duka. She, she's a lovely lady. And Spirit Box is absolutely based. I've been really enjoying the uh, the recent stuff they've been putting out. You listen to Sabaton? Uh, I listened to their uh, their Carolus Rex album. I haven't listened to any other other albums really. I've heard a single here or there, like uh, Bismarck, for example. Speaking of figurines, any news on your figure? Can't talk about it. Sorry to say. The moment I'm allowed to say anything, you'll know. Who's your favorite Vocaloid? Uh, the Kagaminas. Do you have any plans for 1 million Aiki? Yes. Yes, I ha yes I do. But I feel like it'll be a while. We're, st we're still quite a ways away. So there is a figure? Yes, that has been announced for a while now. You can't pull a shacho and accidentally talk about it. <laughs> oh, Murabito B, thank you very much for the 10 gifted. That's so nice of you. Ike, have you heard the Pokemon X Miku collab songs? Yes, I have. They are all so good. The Pinocchio P1 was peak. Pinocchio P just like just don't doesn't know how to make bad music. They really went for like a nostalgic approach. Like they really tugged on your heartstrings. That's why Pinocchio P is the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> I know that there's another certain Vocaloid producer that's been hinting about being part of it. But I don't know if they actually are. If they are, I would be so happy. But I don't know if it's true. I just saw that they tweeted. They, they made a tweet where they just wrote Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Like a hundred times. And I'm just like, hold up. Hold up. Are they part of it? Are they a part of it? I don't know if they are, but I hope they are. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know who it is. You you guys know who is being sussy. That's the sussy, sussy boy. Sussy boy that likes to tweet about pee pee. Let them cook, <laughs> please. Let him cook. Never let him out of the kitchen.
<sighs> the P in Utsupi stands for Pokemon. God, I wish. <laughs> I can eat Pokemon stream in the future. I don't know, maybe. We might continue Shining Pearl at some point. And I do want to go back to Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Ike, do you know Yohio? <sighs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know of him. DMD was so comfy. I know, it's literally my favorite game of all time. <laughs> I love, love Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. What's your favorite Pokemon type? Oh, I love fire types a lot, but water types are a close second. I think ice types might be third. What about Explorers of Time, though? Ooh. I feel like I would do Explorers of Sky, though. Explorers of Sky is like, oh my god. I literally remember when I got Explorers of Sky. I... I got it for Christmas. And I just plugged it into my DS. And I instantly started playing. And I, I just got so many memories that just flooded back into my head from playing Blue Rescue Team. So I kept playing Explorers of Sky. I once again ended up as a Cyndaquil, as I have almost every single time. And this time, I picked Eevee as my partner, because I noticed that this time you got to, uh, like, you actually saw uh, what gender uh, so, some of the... some of the Pokémon were. And it turns out that the Eevee was female, and I was just like, ooh, that, that's neat. So I picked Eevee, and uh, yeah, my partner for my adventure through Explorers of Sky was a, a girly Eevee. Favorite evolution? Espeon. Party party, thank you very much for the Akaspa. Hello, Aiki. Today is a very happy day for me, and I wanted to share my happiness with you. Hope you're happy too. I'm a very happy boy, so yes. Thank you for streaming today. Hearing your voice um, this day is so perfect. P.S. I can't wait to see you at Koskoski. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it as well. Who are you? That's an excellent question. Who am I? <laughs> the, fa the fact that somebody that had the six month uh, penmanship badge asked, who are you? <laughs> just kind of makes me wonder. Like if somebody just is using a different account and just, who is this person that they're subscribed to? Let's type in chat. Who are you? Whomst? Whomst eventually resting. Explorers is amazing. The story and soundtrack makes me cry every time. Dude, seriously, like the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, at least the first and second one. Oh my god. Like, one of the best video game soundtracks of all time. The only thing that's holding it back from being more popular is probably because... Uh, the Game Boy didn't really have the best sound quality. And that's why there are, like, remaster projects. Like, there's a, a project by uh, TGH that are called the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Remastering Project, where I believe that they remastered the entire soundtrack of uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 1. And it is... Glorious. It's so good. My per One of my personal favorite is Aftermath. So if you can listen to that, uh, the remastered version of Aftermath, uh, the fact that they added, like, the soft piano was, oh, beautiful. So that's my recommendation for today. Lots of strawberries. Lots of gifting going on. Kusan, thank you very much for the five gifted. That's so nice. So nice of you. Everybody's so... So generous today. Notes taken. Good. Take notes on what I say. I'm waiting for my musical preferences to infect every single one of you. I should probably dig up my Pokemon Mystery Dungeon copy again. Absolutely. Yes, you should. There's always a good time to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh no, is there a quiz? I mean, not really, but there is a quiz at the beginning of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. 
LCL, thank you very much. Aiki, I'm waiting for your figure. It must be very awesome. Uh, I, from what, what I have seen, it's looking pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> Aiki, you're the reason I started listening to Metal. Like, when did you debut again? I debuted in December 2021. That's closing in on, like, two years. Oh yeah, you got 100% of that Pokemon Cry quiz? No, I got a few wrong. Uh, because we did when we did the Pokemon Cry quiz, me, Selene, Rosamie, and Dopio, uh, what we did was... Uh, I, I first did... Uh, did the quiz by just looking at it, because there there is a... A website where you can do the Pokemon Cry quiz. And what it does, it plays you the cry and it shows you four Pokemon. And then you get to pick one uh, between the four. And that I was just acing, no problem. But then Selene was just like, let's make it harder for you, Ike. And I was just like, okay. And then I, I closed the window or like I minimized Discord so I couldn't see it. And then Dopio would just like press like the cry button. So I would I would just listen to it and then just say which Pokemon it was. And that one I got a few of them wrong. <laughs> the voice impressions. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do an impression. How do you know the difference though? I mean, they all sound different. They're the only ones that get kind of hard because you can't tell them apart is Gen 1. Because there's a lot of shared cries in Gen 1. Dopio impression? I cannot do a Dopio impression to save my life. Ren, though. Ren has, does such an amazing Dopio impression. I feel like I can't do any decent impression in Niji Sanji because my, my, my voice just doesn't suit anyone else. Try it? I don't know. I feel like I would just make a fool out of myself. Plus, I don't <laughs> I don't want to disrespect the goat himself. What about Aster? I don't think I can do Aster's voice very well either. I can try the girl's voice? I don't think so. Maybe Zali? But I don't speak French. I can't do a... I can't do a French accent. <laughs> Uki with a soft voice? I mean, there's a lot more to Uki's voice than just being, like, soft. Like, just, just calling Uki's voice soft, I feel like, is doing it a massive disservice. <laughs> that was not bad. <laughs> yes, it was. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I think Sonny made a good impression of you. Sonny can make a good impression of anybody. He's great at that. I'm trying to think, like, is there anyone that I do a, like, even a half-decent impression of? Uh... No, <laughs> I don't think so. Luca Shoevox? No, all of them. No. <laughs> Maybe Ver? What does Ver sound like now again? Uh... Ver is sort of like... He's a little bit soft-spoken like this. And then he has a very particular voice quality about him, especially in his sort of way of pronouncing things. He doesn't really sort of say... He doesn't know how to pronounce chameleon very well. Uh, that's uh, is that what Vera sounds like? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he sounds like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vera's higher. Okay, so I, I spoke around here. Maybe Vera's a little bit. No, that this is just my regular voice. Dang it. <laughs> Hex voice is deeper than m m the Mariana Trench. Yeah, I've <laughs> Hex's voice is very difficult to mimic accurately. 
You did a decent Albin impression during off collab? Did I? I don't think I did. Oh no! <laughs> that, <laughs> but he, he does say a lot more than oh no. Because when Albin speaks regularly, he has such a pleasant voice. Uh, who else is there? Okay, Dopio is off the table. Ver, I can't do. Vex, uh, Vex? Pfft. Ver, and that. Hex! God, my brain. What about Wilson? Maybe. I haven't heard. Maybe I haven't heard Wilson speak enough, even though I met him, met him in person. We literally sat next to each other and ate steak. I guess I wasn't paying. I was paying more attention to what he was saying than, as opposed to what he was sounding like. Maybe Vanta? Uh... Vanta's a little bit deeper, right? <clears throat> uh... Vanta's sort of around here, isn't he? Even though he is around this range, I don't really think that I sound a lot like him. I can sort of get into the range of Vanta, but I can't really replicate his vocal qualities. So that, yeah, that, that's my two cents on it. <laughs> ah, okay, that sounds weird. What about Ivy? <laughs> Ivy isn't an impression. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I barely even remember how to do Ivy. I haven't done it in so in in so long. What about Futan? Uh, once again, accents. Ivy incoming? No, I can't. I can't do Ivy anymore. Like I, I don't think so. I haven't done it in so long. Hold on, let me try. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, um, yeah. Mm -mm. The problem is I haven't really done Ivy in a while, so uh, I'm, I'm not really sure if it sounds any good. I'm I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Well, it doesn't sound very good at all. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't done Ivy in so long, so it, it, it doesn't sound as good as it used to. Ivy, Hisashiburi. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since we did Ivy. It's so good. What are you saying? Nah. It used to be better. I think the best Ivy I've ever done was during the Delta Rune playthrough. When I was voicing Noel when you're back in the real world, I think that's the best Ivy I've ever had. The only problem is it hurt. It hurt bad. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. Rem, thank you very much. And can you understand the feeling of waiting for packages? Where's my cinnamon roll Ike merch? Dude, I, I know exactly what you mean. I hate waiting for things, especially packages. Melinda Lynn, thank you very much. Ivy, my queen. Ivy Summer. <laughs> thank you, Yoko. I miss Delta Rune. Yeah, I miss it too. Next chapter's win! Come on, Toby! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Take your time, Toby. Good dog. Thank you for bringing Ivy out. No problem. <laughs> I'm sorry that she couldn't stay for longer or sound better. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is with this super chat? <laughs> Mito, thank you very much. Oh my god, I just noticed. Sayama, thank you very much. For the... What, 20 months of penmanship? Let's go. And so, soon, soon you guys will be diamond... Uh, some of you will have diamond uh, diamond badges. Can you believe that? Mary impression? <laughs> what does Mary sound like? Yes, because you see when Mary speaks, he... You can tell that he's a little bit Danish, but he does have sort of a British accent and vocal mannerisms about him. That's what I believe that Mary sounds like. Yes. He is quite the dog. He got that dog in him. <laughs> That's my best Mary. Pipi-san, <laughs> arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> Mary has so many different accents. Yeah. 
He's quite he's quite the vocal chameleon sometimes. Yo, thank you very much. What the heck is going on? I feel like next time I'm <laughs> like I gotta pay rent, I'll just ask Ivy to say hi. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. What the heck is happening? Why do you guys like Ivy more than me? <laughs> Did you talk in an Aussie accent? Absolutely not. What about Hakka? Let's see. No, I, I can't do Hakka. For Hakka, I, I just gotta shout, and I don't feel like shouting right now. Uh, yeah, this turned into like impression hour. <laughs> I feel like we should we should cut this off while we while we're still we're still ahead. I would gladly pay a rent for you. I mean, what? I that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Please don't. Ray, thank you very much. My rent actually isn't very high at all. That's one of the. Uh, I mean, it's sort of a blessing and a curse because nobody really rents in Sweden. Everybody buys their apartments. Anybody that rents an apartment, they're pretty well off. Everyone else just sort of takes out loans, go into debt, and then, like, buy wherever they live. They still pay rent, but they pay a remarkable, remarkably low amount. Like, I do not pay a lot of rent at all. But, on the flip side, ya boy be in debt. <laughs> but that's what it is like for everybody in Sweden, more or less. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of Super Chats coming in. Uh, Lucia, thank you very much. Maura, thank you very much. Speaking of impressions, my parakeet has started mimicking your stretching sounds. He also wears your colors. That's cute. <laughs> I would love to see that. Lydia, thank you very much. Natsugoro-san, thank you very much. Miru, thank you very much. Hats off to her highness, my dearest princess, Ivy Evelyn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, is housing very expensive in Sweden? Yes. Yes, it is. A little bit of a housing crisis. <laughs> but that's politics, and we don't talk about politics here. <laughs> Spacey, thank you very much. And Yoko, thank you for the 10 gifted. That's so kind of you. Excuse me. I just read the super chat that Spacey just sent rent payment. <laughs> Please don't pay my rent. My rent is not that bad. I think for my monthly expenses, I gotta pay rent. I gotta pay my phone bill. I gotta pay my internet bill. I gotta pay my electric bill. Uh, I gotta pay the bank because loan and debt. And I think that's about it. And taxes? Yeah, and taxes. <laughs> Jelly, thank you very much. I could have a good time to say, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going <laughs> we don't mention about tax. Yeah, especially about Swedish tax. <laughs> oh, Swedish tax. Man, studying abroad. I really wish that I could have done that when I was younger, but... I... If I would have applied myself and pushed for it more, I probably could have done it. But, I, I just didn't. I guess I was a little bit nervous. I'm, I'm, I was scared to be away away from home for the second time. Because, like, I already got ripped away from home once. Don't, don't want to do that with, with the new home I made for myself. I'm so happy that my study program forced me to Japan. Well, as long as you're happy about it. 
I wish I could have studied abroad, whether that be in like uh, North America or in Japan or just any any sort of like exchange program. Because now when I'm when I'm older and not not in school, I feel like I, I sort of missed my window of, of opportunity. Because right now, like, if I rolled up into any sort of, like, school, they would be like, aren't you a li little bit old to be here? And I'm just like, yeah, I know, but I'm dumb and I need to learn. Plus, I could have had, like, such an such an exper amazing experience if, what I, if I would have applied myself. But no, instead, I stayed indoors and just studied on my own and did my silly little things, my little obsessions. Whether that be like making games, making animations, translating things, playing Halo. And before I knew it, I was out of school. It's never too late to study Ike. You're right, but it feels a little bit easier when there's a dedicated program that's just sort of like, yeah, like we, we have your entire plan laid out for you. Have fun. We... You made games? I, I tried making games. I tried making games. Thankfully, none of them ever made it to the internet. Thank goodness for that. Colin, thank you very much. Rent payment for this month. <laughs> Thanks, but you don't need to do that. Shouldn't the months without sun be setting there soon? Oh, we're already getting there. We're already getting there. It's usually in November when it's at, at its worst. In November, we barely see the sun. At least, like, late November. Late November, early December is where it's at its worst. We get, like, maybe eight, five hours of sunlight. Bet I can become a composer? Eh, maybe. I've actually thought a lot about music lately and, um, like, Making music or just singing in general. Um, and I ha haven't really been able to do that a lot as of late because of how busy I've been and then like streaming and everything. So sometimes like getting off stream and opening Reaper, it's just you just don't get that creative spark. So I've been thinking about like maybe maybe 2024, I'm going to try focusing a lot more on music and try to, whether that be like working with people to put out more stuff or making more stuff myself. I was a attempting to do that this year, like focusing more on music, but, but without like decreasing my streaming output too much. But I don't think I've been able to do that. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to work on music a whole lot at all throughout the later half of this year. So I'm, I'm hoping that once the year turns over, I'm just going to be like, okay, let, let's actually go hard on music. Itzy, thank you very much. Never too late for you what you want to do. Also, rent payment. Thank you. <laughs> Your discography so far ha has been great. Yeah, but I want to do like more original stuff. I want to do, do more stuff that can be like... Um, I don't know, like like put on a, put on an EP. I do do really want to do that EP. Blue Light gonna come to Spotify soon. I hope so. <laughs> I really do. We support you uh, no matter how much or how little you stream. That's very nice of you. But I I don't wanna like uh, stream too little. There was also uh, there was like the, that whole very busy era that I had not too long ago when like right after we uh, I got back from Canada when we all went to that little like Niji hangout which was fun and all but then your boy got very very busy and it was sort of radio silence for a little while so I'm trying to make sure that something like that doesn't happen again because I felt really bad about that <laughs> So I, I don't want to leave you guys hanging, hanging like that. Evelyn P era soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. God, my booth is getting really hot. Ooh, 
We know you're cooking. I, I am cooking. I am cooking a little bit, but not as much as I would like to be cooking. I want to cook a lot more. Again, it, it, it's always hot. <laughs> it always gets hot. Maybe I, sh maybe I should get like a fan and like point it at me or something. I just don't want it to like get picked up by the mic so you just don't constantly hear like that. <laughs> Don't let Evelyn pee out of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, keep him in the kitchen. Keep him in the kitchen until until he's ready to serve a meal. Soi-san, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you for the cookies. Cookies are always appreciated. You have a lot of fans here too. Oh, you. As long as you tell us you're cooking, we'll wait. Thank you very much. I have I have been thinking about, uh, if you guys remember the composing stream, uh, I've been thinking about doing sort of a membership thing, where I basically don't talk at all, where I just stream myself working on music like I would offline. So as a result, I I will not be like talking much to chat at all. I'll just be in complete work mode. I don't know how fun that would be to watch. But yeah, that, that, that's what I'm like thinking. Because the first time we did like the composing stream, I was very much aware of how much I was being watched and how much I would like need to explain things and make sure that everybody was being entertained. They, they knew what was going on. But I, I kind of want to do one where I just don't explain anything. I just go, hey, what's up? Gonna work. And then I just try to make music and don't really explain anything that I'm doing. So then you'll probably just hear me replaying the same section over and over, not talking a lot, and then occasionally swearing to myself when something isn't working the way that I want. <laughs> a lot of you seem to be on board with that. Okay, maybe maybe we will do that. Would there be sound too? Wouldn't that be a little spo uh, be a little spoiler? That's why it's a membership stream. So yes, there would be sound. Obviously, I wouldn't do the final mix. Like, you would still just hear the fake instruments that I use when, when writing my music. And then, when's an when it's actually done, I will have recorded real instruments. So that, that that's for everybody to find out later. And then everybody can go back and listen to the stream and be like, Oh, that's what it sounded like before, and now it sounds like this. Listen, it's like hanging out with friends in silence. No problem. Okay. Yeah, that's unironically based. I love that. I love whenever you like go over to a friend's place and you just sort of chill, give them the Wi-Fi password, and then you can just do your own thing and vibe and then occasionally like say a thing or two to each other, but you don't really need to. And then one of them will just sort of go, hey, you want to get something to eat? Oh, hell yeah. Then you get something out of the kitchen, you go out to eat or you order something. Basically like sleepover vibes. That's true friendship, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Comfortable silence, exactly. No awkward silence, just comfy silence. Are you planning to go do a recording stream with cheap slash budget equipment? Uh, I could do that, yeah. We could do with uh, like a, a USB mic and then work with free plugins. And see what we can what we can get eh, with that, if we can cook up something. Let us have a peek at, at, uh, at any work in progress. I don't think I have any work in progress to show at the moment because everything that what I'm working on right now is still in the planning stages. So there's there's nothing to show, unfortunately. <laughs> at least I think. Let me let me let me think for a second. No, there's nothing I can show at the moment. Nothing that I haven't already shown. Let's see, Yus, thank you very much. Uh, no matter how many plans you have in progress, uh, or are still just dreams, I will be waiting in anticipation just for my king. Thank you! And Christy, thank you very much. You can do this, Ike. I hope to hear more of your wonderful music in 2024. It's gonna be great. Thank you! I'll try my best. Alright, it's getting a little bit hot here, so I'm gonna go cool off and relax for a little bit, and then sort of have a, whatchamacallit, a, produ a productive day. I have some stuff I need to catch up on. 
Will you mix, uh, do a mix breakdown for past songs? Uh, I think we've done mix breakdowns for almost everything. The one thing that I worked on that I haven't done a breakdown for is Lucifer. And we might do that at a later point. If Aya is okay with it. <laughs> I'll have to ask her. Yumi now, thank you very much. Your ambition for music is inspiring. It makes me remember why I'm currently taking creative writing as a major. Based. Always wanted to write stories like you did. Thank you very much. Yeah, creative writing is great. Put that pen to paper and share your experiences with the world. All right, with all of that said, thank you all so much for coming. It was a lot of fun today. We tried out some new things. Hopefully it paid off. Hopefully it looked okay. I still don't know how it looked, so I'm going to be looking forward to the clips. I uh, hope you have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And, uh, oh, River Jang, thank you for the thing gifted. That's so kind of you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Thank you all so much for coming, and I hope you have a wonderful time, and see you then. Bye-bye.